And here are our music loops. We have the eerie intro, the suspense loop, and the bossa loop. So here's our eerie intro that we currently had. We'd set it up like this, and it, so it plays this very sudden, very important thing, and then it zooms up here at the end. So that's basically all the parts. Now, more importantly, what we need to remember is that these are going to be two-dimensional sounds and not three-dimensional sounds. If we apply them into an audio source and we don't have them selected as 2D sounds, they're not really going to sound like a music background. They're going to sound like they come from a place inside the physical space. We don't want that. We want them to just simply come from our ears. So we need to make sure that every single loop that we're doing is going to be changed to two-dimensional sounds and we make sure that we click the apply button each time, otherwise that change won't take. So anyway, we do that. We're gonna go to the storage room object first, drag our eerie intro into the audio source's first clip slot. Now there isn't really a next clip slot here, as you notice that, but there is one here called clip two. So that's where we're gonna drag the second clip. That's the suspense loop. And our last clip in the back office goes in here. That's our bossa loop. And we'll just drag it up all the way up the top. And there we go. And so we're ready to try this out. And it should more or less work exactly like we demonstrated in the first part of the video on uh, this whole series. So here we go. Check it out. We get closer and closer. Plays the intro. And as you can tell, it's not the best cut, but that's what happens when you have to s immediately switch between uh, pieces of music. So, anyway, and then we just get into here, and that music immediately stopped, and the next music immediately starts stays as long as we're in this physical space and then we get out and we're back into the deep scary place again now I won't probably stick a, a sound here for the welcome to the storage room trigger because that's pretty basic you already know kind of how we already did that so all right so that's basically it about music triggering and we'll be moving on from here and cover more of the basics of Unity itself.